Hey everybody, Pine Tar Sports back with another break review for SportsCardHaven.com. Be sure to check us out. Great spot for fantasy sports, group breaks, reviews, contests, trading, and more. As you're watching, just be aware that uh, we give away at least some of our hits from every single review for just leaving a comment. Others we will reserve for other kinds of contests, etc. But today we are going to be doing Topps 2011 Heritage Minor League Baseball. Here's your, which I always love, typically comes with the Bowman uh, kind of cheat sheet for all the prospects that have been focused on in the product, which is great if you're a big fan of minor league baseball or you're a prospector. Now the big advertisement in here are the, you can see them there, Bryce Harper on-card autos. So let's get started. It's featured on the 1962 uh, Topps design. At first, I got to say, I was a little bit, mm, it's your back, just like regular Topps Heritage. It's a sweet looking set, but I was a, bit, a little bit skeptic. Why do we need a minor league set of this? And they have a lot of tents for this too. So here's a red tent numbered to 620, Max Kepler. There are two autographs and one relic card in each box. We've got the Pro Debut. How is this different than the Pro Debut? was one of my questions. There's Odorizzi on top who was featured in the Granky trade. There are short prints in here just as you come to expect most Topps Heritage products as well. And unfortunately, some of these pictures look a little faded. Not too thrilled with that. Not as crisp. I know it's supposed to give it that throwback look, but it just, it, it almost looks like it's bad printing rather than the, the look of back in the day. There's Mike Trout as well, the Travelers. Mike Olt, Red Ten. The tents actually you know, I understand that they're a parallel, etc., but they kind of look terrible. I'll just say the red, red ones are they're not something you would collect for the look of. I'd say Danny Duffy, Viscaino, All Star. I believe all the All Stars are short printed as well. The other thing I wonder about with Topps using the Bryce Harper to push a lot of the minor league products here, is he going to turn out to be Brett Jackson? Is he going to have the same success as uh, Steven Strasburg did starting out? I know Strasburg's had his injury. But uh, another red, Travis Matera. It's a nice looking set though. Here's our uh, our jersey, our relic. I love the, the uh, information on the backs. It's really cool. Travis Dearnod. New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Very cool. And we can assume that it's from their minor league jersey. Looks like it is. Danny Duffy, All-Star, actually played in the Majors this year with the Royals. Make sure I showed that. It is nice that they dropped the gum out of Heritage a few years back. Zach Wheeler, nice, featured in the, the man traded for Carlos Beltran. And Stefan Welsh from the St. Lucie Mets. It's a sticker auto, unfortunately. 
and it whoa it is numbered though I don't know if you can see that it's two of ten So nice short printed Stefan Welsh autograph, two of ten, wow. Not bad there. Sorry, I'm going back through looking for some of the uh, local guys here in the Cow League. Right, next pack. Christian Cologne. Oh, that's Montgomery Blue tent. Or uh, Ryan Jackson Blue tent. Hard to see. I have to look back through those. I might have missed some of the blue tents. Michael Gibbons. Interested to see where some of these can why the Stefan Welch is so short printed. The 10, Jesus Montero. Now playing with the Yankees. There's your Bryce Harper. Another blue tent. I might have missed a lot of them now that I'm seeing them. Yes, Manny Grandal. There's one from Big Show Blaze. I interviewed him for a blog that I do for the Blaze, so I'll have to sh tell you guys about that one sometime. And he actually, the high, Big Show Blaze are high A for the Reds, and he is now, or he ended the season with the Louisville Bats, which is their AAA team, so. And he's playing Fall League ball. Nathan Evaldi. Eovaldi. Matt Dominguez. He is in the Marlins organization. We're back. Anthony Ronaldo and Gary Brown. We had a tremendous season in the Cal League. Be sure to look out for him for the Giants. Still looking for other. Ooh, we got another uh, memorabilia hit. Demaster Degado. Looks like a parallel version. The first one was not. 14 of 50. Not bad. You can see down there. So it's a pretty fun break. I hate the red parallels, I'll say that much, the red tent. You just can't even make up this, the card. Here's a black parallel, Jeff Locke from Altoona Curve. They're Pirates. Number 59 and 62. There in the corner, there we go. And the Jeff Locke regular in there. A lot of Cal League players in here, notice so far. But again, if you're my league fan, this ought to be a fun product to break. I hope we don't get shorted. There's the Will Myers. Look for him in the Royals organization. Here we go. So we didn't get shorted. Yeah, let's see who we got. Davis Stoneburner. And it is numbered to 861, so a little bit higher numbered than the other one. That was numbered to 10. But not much. So we didn't end up getting the Bryce Harper on card auto. Nonetheless, we did pretty well. Got a bonus hit, Anthony Goose, the 620. And last pack, big thank you to Tops for providing this to us to review. 
As always, be sure to leave a comment at sportscardhaven.com for a chance to win some of the hits just for leaving a comment. That'll do it. We'll have scans and a full write-up there as well. Again, leave a comment and you could be in the running to win one of these hits. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.